John Reister. I build uh, fiddles mostly. I'm always working on like five at a time, six at a time. It's, it, it seems uh, just the way it works. So this is like your traditional flame, tiger stripe, whatever you call it. Some people call it a thing. This is what most are made of. If I could doodle it, I figured I could carve it. These corners are the hardest part of the whole process. Every bit of, everything that goes into a fiddle, these four corners are the hardest thing to do. I always wanted to build something. I just kind of figured banjos would be what it was, but there's so many people that build banjos and there's not that many that build fiddles, so I thought that'd be a good niche for me. This is a Strad, so that's after everything's been bent and uh, flattened and everything. Traditionally, you use some kind of spruce and some kind of maple. Every once in a while, you find a really pretty piece of bird's eye maple. The, on this one, this is for a guy back home in Jackson, Ohio, and so I talked him into using cherry from Jackson. So this was cut and sawed up in back home, and so that was. I'm pretty excited about that. My grandma gave me a fiddle that her grandpa's brother had made for her when she was in high school. This one's probably my favorite one so far because it's a two point which I wanted to do. It's for a guy from back home and it's made of wood from back home. I think it's gonna be really, really nice. And this is number nine. And my grandma's fiddle that she gave me if you look on the inside, which you're not going to see on the camera, but it was the ninth one that he made. So I think that's cool. This was made in, handmade in West Virginia by a relative of mine. I've heard 200 hours for a violin. I don't think I take that long. Um, I just get to work at night after my day job, uh, usually. Um, and I can get them done probably four or five months. I can do a batch of three. Varnishing it takes a month and a half regardless if I'm doing one or if I'm doing three. You know what I mean? I, I leave them in for two weeks to let them darken. I have a, a box over here. It's like a, it's a tanning bed basically. This one's curing and this one is going to probably get another. Well, it's going to get four coats of clear for sure, but I haven't decided if I want to do another coat of color or two. This is going to a lady in Minnesota and she actually she had got into wanting to build violins back in the 90s I guess that's when the wood was cut and never did it now she's in poor health and saw that I was building these on the internet and uh, reached out to me and asked if I would want some stuff. I keep a log over there of all the stuff that I do every day with my fiddle making. Like here I'm keeping a log of every instrument I've made and how much I've got paid for it and who ordered it and where it went and what kind of wood it was. Right now I'm asking like I think the last person was $2,200 for a fiddle which is still as for a handmade instrument is, is for a handmade fiddle is really cheap a lot of people are doing I like oh, there's a fly that fly might end up on that fiddle by the time it's done I heard it there. There it is. he's dead how did that happen um, oh well. a lot of people are asking like, four grand for a handmade <laughs> instrument but I feel like my stuff just isn't to their quality yet. And I feel really bad. I mean, I would, I just don't think that I'm, and plus $4,000 is a lot of money. Um, so right now it's about $2,200, but I have a wait list until 2023. Um, so, um, you know, it might go up. I just got into this and told my wife that I, if you let me do this apprenticeship, I could probably make some extra money and, 
and she's holding me to it. We had a kid. We had just had a uh, we had a newborn that year. She was born February uh, 2019, and uh, so I had to take you know a couple evenings a week to go to Tommy's every every week, and that took you know that's a lot of it's a lot of work for your other the other person in the relationship uh, to watch that kid alone. So I got to pay her back by working every night till one o'clock <laughs> making fiddles, but I. I'd just be watching TV if I wasn't. This is uh, number nine. It's got a cherry back, sides, and neck. A red spruce top. And a morel here. Carved into the peg head. Here's how it sounds. Should have had my bow with me. That's number nine. 